In the last episode, my brother Chris and I arrived at Anime Crossroads in Plainfield, Indiana, grabbed our badges, and started exploring the venue. We picked back up with the story right as the dealer's room's about to open. I wish I had eyes in the back of my head. I've been working on my pride, but the rest of me cares. Every time I feel alive, it be loving me, yeah. You my sinner, don't fold like it's vanity fair. Every time that I be down, then I be running to you. It's a runner that I'm scared, but I'm calling you boo. Please don't ghost me, love me. We're like 15 minutes out from the dealer's room opening up. If it opens up on time, that Kakashi was really cool. Thanks for filming with me. I'm still, <laughs> guys, I'm getting better. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm really glad that I came to Crossroads. It might be surprising to hear with how many videos I post, but I'm pretty shy and introverted person. So yeah, it takes me a minute to get back in like the mode of like asking people if I can film them, but it's getting a lot better. This was definitely needed before I Go get together forever, I know you need me It ain't hard to love you, I promise that shit is easy I can see the future so vivid, I think I never understood why people line up for the dealer's room But the line for the dealer's room has started It's not, I don't know, it's not a big deal You can line up if you want it's, We're just waiting here anyway too We might as well be in line Let me know in the comments, do you line up for the dealer's room? Dealer's room just opened up, let's check it out You remember the first Crossroads dealer's room? Yes It was small You got that J-Rock there Yes, guys, I bought, who was it, Uber World? That's their name, right? Wasn't that their promoter or something there? He like, he did something with the album. Yeah, he, he looked like J-Rock. He had yeah. the hair. There was a guy there who sold it. Yeah, he looked super J-Rock. But he told me that LMC was going to be at ASIN. Like, he booked him. He's the one who set it up. So we went to ASIN just because of that. Anyway, the dealer's room open. We're gonna jump in. Let's see how it is. We are in, and it really feels like a con now. This is a lot bigger than that. Maybe we should go that way. Yeah, maybe we should. Okay, this way. I'm gonna skip through this part because I don't like to film in Artist Alley anymore. Because, you know, it's like someone's individual art. But I'll film the dealer's part. It's like a lot of Artist Alley. Holy crap. This year, Anime Crossroads really stepped it up with the dealer's room. It was packed full of everything you might want maybe a little too packed full. It was actually kind of hard to move around in there. But other than being a bit cramped, it was a really nice dealer's room, especially for the size of the con. Guys, that booth was so cool. I've never seen one with like miniature swords like that. It was actually really sick. We're just walking through and just past like two people that we know. Like not from cons, just like in real life. This is what happens when we go to cons so close to home. Yeah. <laughs> but they were both talking to us at the same time. It's like, uh, uh, what, what's happening? We're headed to opening ceremonies right now. I don't know if it's gonna be worth going to, but I remember in the past Crossroads opening ceremonies being one of the only that we didn't like to miss. Because it was always cool. They had energy. Let's see if that still holds true today. It might not. Opening ceremonies is a little bit late. I keep seeing some really cool cosplay go by. Like, there's a lot of cool cosplay now compared to earlier. Not that the cosplay was bad, it's just the cosplay now is super interesting. But I don't want to jump out of line because they're late. It could open any minute. I feel like a little bit later though, I'm gonna be just grabbing people. Anime Crossroads has forever held the title of best opening ceremonies for us. Compared to other cons, they just bring so much more energy and hype to it. This is really mostly down to the fact that every year they make a new AMV that they play during the opening ceremonies to get people hyped, and it really works. This year's opening was just as fun as I remember all their others being. What a lake, bro. That's a lake. Holy lake. Opening ceremonies were a lot of fun, like I expected. Did you like it? Yes. Yeah, it was fun. It was a little tiring, just because uh, I was tired. Yeah, we're both <laughs> tired, because we're both like, Chris is near 30 and I am 30, and so. I'm 28, I'm not around. 30. It's almost 5 p.m., this is when we get tired now. <laughs> but yeah, Crossroads still, for me, the king of opening ceremonies. They're just really good at getting people hyped with that AMV at the beginning. Because everyone cheers when they see their favorite anime. The, the victor this year was? Genshin. Genshin, 100%. Gen people lost it when Genshin came on. I was scared. Guys, I just smelled something really concerning and was reminded the harsh truth of conventions. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was rough, man. Guys, please, deodorant guys, shower, at least shower. Man, were you reminded you were out of con? What? 
You didn't experience that? What, waiting in line? The, the scent? Oh, yeah, it was a little pungent. <laughs> I turned away and then I, the smell was just wafting in my back. Oh, okay. I was like, I was suddenly hit with this nostalgia of all the cons we've been to. <laughs> Chris bought melon bread. I've never tried it before, so let's see how it is. This is like, in Japan? That seems obvious. Yeah, it's just really sweet, like sugary. I don't taste any melon, but it's good. Mmm. Do they have it in Korea too, or just Japan? Yeah, I don't remember seeing that in Korea. That's pretty good. Nice little snack. Is that your dinner? Oh, yeah. We're going to Waffle House. No. <laughs> they, they said that with your badge, you get like 10 or 15% off at Waffle House. And we're like, do we want to get sick? <laughs> it feels like the convention's in that transition time where people are like going back to their room and resting and getting ready to switch into their nightlife cosplay. This is, it's weird that we don't have a room because normally we'd be there right now, but totally. A lot of the cool cosplay we saw earlier, we can't really find it now. We were talking a little bit because, yeah, I've been mentioning this weekend that I'm on different equipment and I feel a little bit limited compared to what I was using before, but I was already thinking, man, I need to get another gimbal. I need to get like, you know, I used to have the glide cam. And my, my lenses aren't really great for autofocus anymore. I used to always autofocus. But we were talking and like just remembering that they say that like limitations breed creativity. So I really just need to like take some time and just really focus on the equipment that I have and think about how I can use this equipment that I got really used to using in other scenarios here in this situation that I used to do in a different way. And hopefully in the end it will create something really cool. But we'll see. It's just a lot of fun. It's a cool challenge. The con had really slowed down at this point for whatever reason. We spent some time walking around trying to figure out what to do before stumbling onto this Chainsaw Man meetup. Chainsaw Man has really blown up at cons recently and for good reason. If you haven't seen it or read it, I would highly recommend you check it out. Chris and I came back to the car because like I said earlier, it's that time where you go to the room and you rest and get ready for nightlife, but we have no room. This is our room, so I think we're gonna... The plan was to try to take like a 20 minute power nap. We can try. I don't know if it's gonna work. It really does feel like, right? That like everybody went to their room. Not yeah. everybody, there's people out there, but like there were more people out right before opening ceremonies. And then after, people like disappeared. So I really think they're they're getting ready right now. Take a little nap and go they back. They might all be in the dealer's room. When we walked by, I looked in and it didn't look like there were many people in there. Oh. I thought that too, but I'm not sure. After not napping at all in the car, we ended up stumbling onto a main events panel called the Idol Fet. We were drawn in by the sounds of loud music and people cheering. It basically seemed to be people doing dance performances to idol music. It was actually a ton of fun. Here are some clips, but I have to change the music because copyright laws on YouTube are frustrating. So Chris and I finished our nap and we were walking by main events and her music and we remember there's some idol thing happening. So we just went in to like look for a minute and we ended up staying for like, I don't know how long, 40 minutes to an, almost an hour. At least. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. The people who were performing were not bad at all. Some of them were like really good. Professionals. Yeah, if you see that next year and you're interested in like dancing, watching people dance, you should definitely hop in there. Or if you like to dance, try to sign up for it. Guys, look at this at the bar. So on this side is like normie. At least people dress normie. I don't know if they're normie, but and this side's like cosplay. <laughs> it's like a straight separation down the middle. It's so funny. This spot right here in front of the fire is so cool. It's one of my favorite that I've ever seen at a con to just chill. But it's hot. I need to take this off. It's so like. Even with that off, it's not enough. Really? Yeah, it's my face. My face is hot. Yeah, it's hot but it's tough because we don't have the room, so I want to have my jacket with me because when I do go outside, and there's some parts of the hotel too that are pretty cool, but I can't just put it in the room. It is what it is. Isn't it past by? What was that convention reviews music video that you did? 
What one? Something fire. Otaku fire. Otaku fire. Bro, do you remember the lyrics? No. Sing it for me and then I'll... Oh, uh, we about to give you that otaku fire. fire. Something, something, something. Fulfill inspire. your desire. No, I Maybe we said inspire. I can't look at you because it's too bright. <laughs> Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do it from a little Ooh. bit. There's a bright yellow, like... We about to bring you that otaku fire. ACR crew. Give you that desire. Delivers your desires. Cosplay is free. Oh my god, that was a lot. <laughs> Cosplay is freedom that you can't take away. Grinding every day, leaving you inspired. That's just how it is with the taku fire. <laughs> was that recording? I hope. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this light is so bright. Oh my god. Honestly, don't mind if I do. Yeah. So far, this convention has given me free Paku. Free Twix and free Milky Way. I'm gonna be honest. Free loader? 10 out of 10 would con again. Am I a free loader? <laughs> Maybe. We are going to the social right now. This is the last thing we wanted to do. I don't know exactly what it is. It says something about dancing. And I don't I don't really know. But this is the last thing we wanted to do for Friday. Let's check it out and then start again tomorrow. You have to use your police light and go. Yeah, it's a little dark in here for this this lens, to be honest. Welcome to the social. <laughs> this is the beginning, bro. Chill out. Just the beginning. I don't know what it means. To me, social yeah. sounds like like meet people. Yeah, the music right? is short, like loud enough. Like, yeah. Where like you can still talk, but like. And what do, what do we do? I don't know, dude. <laughs> this reminds me of like. Prom? Not prom. I, would, I never went to prom. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of what I think prom would be like. Yeah, this is definitely what prom was like. Guaranteed. Leave in the comments if you went to prom. Hit the like button if you didn't go to prom. Yeah. Or that you did go to prom. Hit the if like you button. went, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the like button. The social was a bit boring. But to be honest, we only stepped in for a few minutes before heading home. Word on the street is that the social picked up later and actually became pretty fun. But that's everything I have for Friday. Next time we start the big day, Saturday, by meeting up with Nate and jumping back in in full force. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay nerdy.